good evening everyone today we are going to see about the scale up of mixing using tip speed so there will be different approaches for scaling up of mixing and in our last video we have seen a demo on how and when to use the scale up using power per unit volume and today we are going to see how to scale up using the tip speed and first of all before getting into the topic so we should know what is exactly tip speed means so tip speed means it's a rotational speed of an agitator okay so whenever you are going to do the scale up using tip speed it is going to be simple but it it is not applicable to all the scenarios and today we are going to see all the cases where the tip speed can be used for scale up so usually tip speed to calculate we'll be using the simple formula that is speed equals to pi d n by 60 so in this we got two variables the first one is a d d is nothing but a diameter of the agitator and the capital n represents the agitator speed but during the course of deploying tip speed as scale of factor we don't use any things related to the input why because here you got only the two variables that is d as well as the agitator speed so from this we should be getting a query internally like whether it is going to be a right approach for using the tip speed as a scale of factor or not and to answer this using the tip speed for scale up is nothing or is not going to be a wrong option but we should understand the criteria in which we should apply the tip speed as a scale of factor so in this you will be having total two criterias criteria one so this is going to be first of all we should ensure the l by d to be same in both the cases okay and most of the engineers whenever they are going to do this l by d ratio they think that this l by d ratio corresponds to reactor but the fact is that the l by d ratio correspond to the reaction mass and depending on which we are going to select the batch size okay the second criteria so this is going to be the agitator which is going to be used in both the cases of scale up should be identical okay so if you are going to have both these criterias then we can go by scaling up the, uh, the mixing using the tip speed so today we are going to see a case study on how to scale up using the tip speed and today i would like to scale up the batch size or the reaction mass from i mean uh, i would like to scale up the mixing from 1kl reactor to 3kl reactor and I am going to present you with a calculation now. So the first one is going to be the parameters and the second one is the unit of measurements and here going to be the small scale and here it is going to be the large scale. So the first one is the reactor capacity. let's say this is in KL so here I would like to take 1 KL and here I would like, I'll be taking 3 KL the next one is the reactor diameter this is in meters and the next one is the reactor height and this is going to be in meters and the next one is the bottom dish height again this is going to be in meters the next one is cylindrical vessel height this is going to be in meters and the next one is the operation volume which I will be taking in KL and the next one is the bottom dish volume again this is going to be in KL the next one is the reaction mass height in cylinder
so this is going to be in meters the next one is total reaction mass height again this is going to be in meters the next one is the LYD ratio since it's a ratio it doesn't have any units the next one is the agitator height sorry the agitator type next one is the agitator diameter this is going to be in meters and the next one is the shaft speed so this we can say as this we can say as second inverse or we can say minute inverse like what is the rotational speed per minute and the next one is the tip speed this is going to be in meter per second and now coming to this case the diameter let's say it is around 0.96 like the usual diameter is going to be for 1kl reactor and if it's a 3kl it is going to be approx 1.4 or 1.39 and the next one is height it is going to be let's say 1.1 and here it can be around 1.59 the next one is the bottom dish height let's take around 10% to the total height that is 0.1 so here it is going to be the same and coming to the cylindrical vessel height this is going to be the difference between the reactor height and the bottom dish height And the next one is the operational volume in case one we know the volume and in case two we need to estimate what is the or what could be the operational volume so here i'll be taking 0.5 kl and coming to the bottom dish volume since it is going to be the tori spherical dish we will be using the basic formula that is pi by 32 into di cube that is the reactor diameter to the power 3 And the same is going to be for the 3KL reactor also. And coming to the reaction mass height in cylinder. So this is going to be the difference of the operation volume minus the bottom dish volume. So from this we can be getting the volume which is occupied in the cylinder. And to this you will be dividing it with pi by 4 d square. d square so here the diameter is going to be 0 0.96 to the power 2 so approximately 0.57 the reaction mass is going to occupy a height of around 0 0.57 meter and the total reaction mass height this is going to be this height of reaction mass inside cylinder plus the bottom dish height and coming to this L by D ratio, this is going to be the total reaction mass height divided by the diameter of the reactor. So this is going to be approx 0.71. And here to meet the criteria 2 also, I will be taking the agitator as anchor. Okay, so here the agitator diameter. So in the first case, I will be taking it as approx like uh, I will be taking around 48 percent I'm sorry 80 percent of a total reactor diameter okay so this is 0 0.77 and coming to tip speed so it is going to be operated at full rpm that is 48 and coming to tip speed this is going to be the basic formula that is pi d and n by 16 so the tip speed is going to be 1.93 meter per second and now first of all I should calculate the LVD ratio here like in the case of large scale I have to take the LVD ratio and this is going to be our first estimation and the second estimation is the shaft speed which is going to be derived based on the tip speed since I want to match the same LVD ratio I will be taking the same here and from this I will be getting the total reaction mass height so this is going to be the L by D ratio multiplied with the diameter so here you will be getting the total reaction mass height and if you want to calculate the reaction mass height which is occupied inside the cylinder so this should be the total height minus the bottom dish height 
it is going to be 0.16 so now you got uh, the reaction mass height inside the cylinder and from this we have to calculate the operation volume so this is going to be the total volume which is occupied inside the bottom dish plus the volume which is occupied inside the cylinder part so the formula to calculate the volume occupied in the cylinder part is going to be pi by 4 d square l so that is 3.141 divided by 4 into d square so d square is going to be the reactor i mean the reactor diameter and l is going to be the height occupied inside the cylinder so it is going to be almost 1.52 times and now we need to select the batch size inside the 3 kl reactor which corresponds to 1.52 uh, kl of reaction mass at the particular step in which you are going to scale up okay so this is the first estimation and coming to the second estimation since we are going to take the same agitator i will be taking anchor and coming to the agitator diameter let's say this is approx 0.7 times to the reactor diameter So the sweep is going to be approx 0.973 meter and then to calculate the shaft speed we have to equate the tip speed. So I will be taking the tip speed as constant. Why because we are going to scale up the mixing using constant tip speed. So take this and from this you are going to calculate the tip speed like the reverse calculation. So tip speed this is going to be pi d n by 60 so the capital n is nothing but a shaft speed which is equals to 60 into tip speed by pi into d okay so i'll be using the same thing here so that is 60 multiplied by the tip speed divided by pi that is 3.141 into the agitator diameter that is 0.97 so we have to operate at approx 38 rpm to match that the same tip speed okay so this is how we need to estimate the rotational speed of an agitator in case if you want to scale up the mixing using tip speed okay so this is our section estimation and if you have any other queries in this particular video so you can write us at pharmacalci823 at the rate and gma.com and also if you like our video please subscribe to our channel and also please share the video with your dear ones thanks for watching the video so we'll be providing you with a download link to download this particular excel sheet and you can check the download link in the description of our video also if you miss if you have missed our first video that is the scale up of mixing using power per unit volume so we'll be providing you with a link in the description please check it thanks